this is Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. Today we have the uh, cylinder head off the 323, uh, the M54 engine. Uh, the head was not cracked, the head gasket was not blown. Let me take you out and show you what's going on with that. Okay, so to start off, here's the head upside down. You can see on the gasket mating surface. Now what you're going to be looking for is going to be cracks. You're going to see them in here. It could be out around the valves. It could be out from the bolt holes. A lot of times it is. The cracks don't look like a piece of hair. Almost like an eyelash. It'll be pretty small. Well, it depends on what level of destruction you're running. I cleaned this once real quick. It needs to be cleaned again. As you can see, there is no imperfections anywhere on there. You need to clean it before you can tell what's going on. So that all looks good, no problems there. Let's go over to the head gasket itself. This head gasket is a layered metal. This is a pretty thin one. I don't know if this has a brand on it. This could be a China one. Somebody's definitely been here before. Half the head bolts were tightened somewhat correctly. Some of them are just way over tight. I don't know if they're trying to fix the leak or it's hard to say. But you look between the cylinders, this car was blown out big time. I mean, when you cranked it, it would just blow water everywhere out of the overflow. You don't really see any problems with the head gasket at all. But these layered metal head gaskets especially the thinner ones, they have a tendency to blow. They don't really blow out, they leak past and do stuff like that. Uh, this one didn't have compression in two cylinders, so two cylinders leaking in. Uh, um, there's three or four and four or five, one to two. Uh, let's go up to the car itself. Look in here. I always look at this to make sure nothing's wrong with the block. Uh, you can see the dowels are right here. There's one. And there's a second one right there. The dowels are a little controversial. You really got to be careful when you put this head back on here. Those dowels are really thin. If you crunch one just a little bit, you're not going to see it. You're going to torque your head down. It's not going to seat correctly. It could cause a terrible, terrible problem. But uh, everything else looks good. The timing chain guides are all good. There's one more thing a lot of people don't do on these. And as you can see, the, the head bolt holes, when I pulled these bolts out, I could tell somebody I did replace the, the bolts. They all look really new. Uh, there was some black crusty oil on a lot of them. A couple of them, when I took them out, it actually squirted coolant out. Now, well, that tells me somebody did not clean the bolt holes out. So what I do, I take a Brillo, a piece of Brillo, some carburetor cleaner, and wipe all this down. I did it once. It needs to be done one more time. If you don't push on it, it's not going to damage it. Everybody says that damages the head. If you're not a fool about it and you just do it lightly, you're not going to damage anything. A lot of guys use a block with a piece of sandpaper and kind of a makeshift block plane, I guess. Uh, I put the metal straight edge on this. It didn't have any problems at all. Same way with the head. Everything is really straight. Uh, you're just going to remember to take carburetor cleaner and blow down in here, clean all that junk out. Take some compressed air, blow the carburetor cleaner out. If they're not clean, they're not going to torque to the same spec. So, fortunately on this head, these two front bolts, they were torqued down. I had to use a half inch drive ratchet with a three inch break, three foot breaker bar. And I could barely break them with that. They were way overdone. Surprised they didn't strip the holes out, strip the threads out of the block. Uh, that's what I was expecting to see with this engine. But it just wasn't like that. Uh, so that's what's going on with this engine. So that's all for today's video. Um, just remember the few tips that I gave you on cleaning out the, the holes for the head bolts. Uh, make sure the gasket surfaces are clean, especially with the layered metal gasket. Uh, a lot of shops won't do that job. I don't know of any that'll do that job. Take the head off, retime the motor, put it all back together. They just want to switch the motor out with the used one. That's fine, 
if you know for sure the used one's good, there's no guarantees. Even if you drove the car before you took the motor out, you don't know what engine you're getting for sure. Uh, that's all for today. Check me out on Instagram or Facebook, Nathan's DIY Garage. And that's all. Thank you.